Hey everybody, my name is Wellens and we're gonna be checking out the beginning of Degrees of Separation today. This game comes out officially on Valentine's Day, I believe. But uh, we're gonna be looking at a preview and this is a platformer that involves controlling two separate characters here. As you may have noticed on the menu screen, we have a fire side and we have a ice side. And I assume that correspondingly, we're going to be controlling two protagonists. You can play this game either in solo or in online or local co-op. Right now, the version we're looking at only has solo or local co-op, and that's definitely the reason why I'm playing it solo today. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. <laughs> anyway, the one thing that really caught my eye is that um, apparently the story in this game is written by Chris Avalon, who's pretty prolific for his work on um, Planescape Torment, or Kator 2, or Fallout New Vegas, among dozens of other things. So why don't we just jump in here and see what the beginning is like? Alright, yes, we are playing locally today. We got Ember and Rhyme here, both being controlled by player 1 and no player- You're my player 2, right? <laughs> oh my god, okay, let's move on. Ember awoke to a distant roar, like a great wind. Her dreams, usually warm and bright, had taken on the chill of ice and azure. We have the fiery, flaming ember here. I can jump. It seems like that might be it for now. Well, I can climb ropes. And I'm heading towards the right, the east side. Oh. And on the east, I'm going to be heading towards the west, aren't I? He dreamed of a great wind, a roaring in the air like some great beast, and the faint smell of sulfur jolting him awake. Rhyme's dreams were restless, filled with dancing fires and a bright, almost blinding light. Ember and Rhyme. We both seem to have a little butterfly thing following us. He was the last in a long line of heroes, the lone defender of the castle in the heart of this kingdom of ice. Yeah, there's a throne here. You can see with every breath he takes, there is, um, his breath is visible. The drawbridge is up, which means we would have to bring it down somehow. Rhyme lowered the drawbridge of his castle. As to what it guarded against, he realized he had no idea. That was actually completely accidental, but yeah, I, I saw that. <laughs> All by myself. Oh. As she emerged from the great oak that was her home, she noticed the once great trees of the forest were shattered, broken. It was as if a great storm had blown through. Splintering all in its path, the roar that had awoken her. She ventured on, her curiosity growing as she climbed through the tree hollows. So both the forest and the ice kingdom are... Can I swim? Yeah. Both of them are in ruins. Oh, I thought I wouldn't be able to swim because I'm ember and all, but that seems to not be the case. Which I'm thankful for. Hmm, so primarily I see that this, uh, this rope mechanic is gonna be an important one, isn't it? There was a growing chill in the air, and the branches stirred in the wind. The storm may have passed, but she knew another was on the way. Storm. A storm that ruined the forest? I wonder if it's worth or uh, is it even possible for us to visit like the the bottom on the left side here or... Well, not here anyway because we can't go back. All right. We're still on the bridge. 
The permafrost was melting. Rime felt a gust of warm wind and wondered if it had brought the wisp beside him. The wisp. It's not a butterfly. No. <laughs> The winds had melted the ice bridges, causing new drops and chasms. But Rhyme could still use the cold to his advantage. There's a little thing here. Oh. Oh, perfect. He ventured on to the edge of his kingdom. There, he hoped to find answers. The great fire that gave life to her land was dying. Mm hmm. We have wind here. Fissures had cracked open tunnels in the cliffs, and great jets of sulfur erupted from the ground. Yet she knew she could use these to her advantage. Wondering if I can go on to the side over there. Seems like there might be a secret, but maybe we go from this way. Oh, yeah. It's like geysers? I wonder if it's like... Like maybe I'm not a normal person. I'm like fireproof. So is the guy... Are the geysers really hot? She hoped to discover from where the strange winds blew. Prime hoped he still had time. Oh! Gotta stay on for a little bit longer. Oh. Okay, we gotta get down while holding on to this thing. No? Ah. Oh. I guess I just somehow timed it wrong. That took a little bit of effort. He passed the gates of his kingdom and found new tunnels revealed by the melting of the ice. Ah, we're getting closer then, right? The ice is melting. The glistening water of the cave ran down the walls like tears, as if weeping at the melting of his world. Oh, oh just for us to uh, jump over here. All right. Ooh. Oh! Both stepped on the bridge together, matching each other's steps. And we both fall down into a new world. Oh, but it's like what he sees is not really what I see, huh? My background, uh, Ember's background is always the fire. But I can ask him to come over or something. Oh, that feels kind of sad. Oh, whoa. That's really trippy. Hmm. A shimmering barrier separated them. On either side of this barrier, each carried their world with them. I'm calling on my companion. Oh, okay. I have to hold down R1, and then whatever Ember does, Rhyme also does. Ah. So presumably, if you're playing this in co-op, then you can each control Ember or Rhyme. There is a thing down there. Do we need to collect that? Can we collect that? If I switch control back to Rhyme... Mm, not sure how to get down at the moment, so we'll just go forward like this. Oh... So close, yet so far. Oh, whoa! Okay. 
Rhyme can't get in the water because whatever he touches turns to ice. Neither knew what world they had come to. Yet clearly, someone had been here long ago. So close, yet so far. Both of us don't know what happened to our own worlds. And I guess we gotta work together now. By the way, I think that um, the control thing might be flickering because I messed up my controller. As they rode across the sky, the two caught sight of a great castle in the distance. And over it, a dark shape soared into the air and was gone. Perhaps there, at the castle, they would find answers to what threatened their worlds. Yeah, um, hold on. Let me see if I can get the control thing to go away. Alright, we're good. Buoyed by Ember's warmth, they rose and descended when Rhyme's chill fell upon them. Oh, heat and cold. We have to use these physical properties to control this box here. Alright, so what exactly... Ah. Rhyme, if you can come over here as well. Right, and as soon as he comes over here, that, that box thing gets chilled. So it drops. And now we have another... See, that, that, um, that box is floating there now, which means we gotta switch to Rhyme. And then have Rhyme walk over if that's possible, so... Ember, if I could just leap over you for a quick second. There you go. Yeah. A little bit tricky to getting used to these controls here, controlling them both. Of who had made these tunnels, there was no sign. Only by working together were they able to move forward. So we can't leave each other behind then. Two ropes, two people. Yeah. Oh, whoa, who am I controlling here? I gotta make sure that I'm... Okay, I'm looking at Rhyme now. You can tell because of the little wisp. But if I... If I get Rhyme over here, then Ember is stuck on the other side, isn't she? The wreckage of great mechanisms, wheels, and pulleys lay along the path. I don't think that's okay. So how would we get them both over here then? The other rope is longer. Yeah, it's a little bit longer, I think. Plus we have this platform here so that we can... Um... Yeah, the wood here sort of blocks us. Hold on. Am I just supposed to leave you here for now, or did you want me to... Okay. Well, maybe we can try it the other way around, because earlier I had Ember pulling on this one, so maybe... Maybe you can pull on that one, Rhyme. Is that alright? You pull it down, so that Ember can reach it. And now Ember can get up, but then we run into the same problem here, where we can't get Rhyme across, right? I think that's the... Or... I'm just being really stupid here because I can just get Ember to stand on this rope and then Rhyme can get up. <laughs> oh, Well, there you go. Alright. Yes, and remember, in the water. Ember can get in the water, but not Rhyme. Now what does that do? Oh! I can get Rhyme to climb on the rope. And he can get on this rope. Okay. Can he climb on this one? Ah! We don't have to be on the same screen together. Yeah, it sort of separates it for you. Oh, it gets very confusing quickly to look at though, huh? More structures lay ahead, forgotten in the overgrowth. Yet the road had been built with purpose in mind. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, oh. Ember. <laughs> no, we gotta find a way to... Um, hmm. I guess maybe one difficulty later on might be... We don't know how far we can go without Ember. I assume they'll block you, but it's like... To solve this puzzle, 
Do I stay here or go a little bit more forward? This one isn't too hard because... Ah, it might be a problem because, um... Ember's gonna drop down into the water so she can't reach the rope. So what can you do? What can you do, Rhyme? You can obviously make it snowy, but she can't access the snow, can she? Oh. Same deal as before, right? We'll pull the rope down, and then Ember- Oh my god. I should really be thinking of these faster, because it's the same principle as last time. <laughs> there you go. Good job. Good job, everybody. Let's go. I wonder if we eventually use this uh, barrier mechanic sometime. Maybe we can, like, bounce off each other? Yeah? No? Okay, so Ember, could you please... Ooh. Oh, lifting that one up pulls something else down, right? No? Um... Oh! Okay, so she can... she can kind of um, melt that thing. You can get up here. Does that change anything? First of all, what do we want to do with that, um... Oh, we might want this as a snowy thing because... We want to be able to climb up on the snowball, don't we? Yeah, like something like this. Yeah, now both of them can climb. They came upon a mine and saw what the mechanisms were for. The walls glittered, flecks in the rock shining like stars. It reminded them of the barrier between them and wondered if there was a connection. Great power lay in the veins of rock and someone had sought to claim it. And here they had failed. Hmm. Finding it a little bit unwieldy to... Oh my goodness. Yeah, like that. We gotta be really aware of like who's controlling what and like... And where are they standing and stuff like that. Here we go. Because where they stand doesn't only affect them. It affects the... Um, the environment as well. Okay, let me get off here. No, 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 Jack Frost, come down here. Come back here. <laughs> Yeah, come over. You come over. Hey. Or, I mean, I mean, we could do this, but uh, let's make them stay together. You gotta touch that. Yeah. He looks a little bit like Jack Frost, right? Which is funny because I've never actually watched the movie. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Gotta get better at controlling this. Don't die. No matter whether touched by cold or warmth, they noticed the ore held its color. Huh. It's almost like a magma. A common element among the two worlds. Uh... You gotta follow me, Rhyme, okay? Mmm, actually, Rhyme, you gotta, like, step over here. Right, like that, exactly. And then... Ember? Whoa! Whoa, there's a little crack there that I almost fell through. Alright. And, uh... Oh no, the water thing again. Bit of a problem. Y yeah? Could you make that box? Oh, you gotta move over a little bit, Rhyme. Could we ever get back up? No, because what we gotta do is get Rhyme to... Yeah, pull down the rope and... Like that. Can you follow me? There you go. And now we gotta switch it up again. Mm, when we're in such a tight little tunnel space, then we gotta kinda walk out of here and then change positions. That part's a little bit hard. We want to go up, right? Do we want to go down? I don't know. Is there anything down here? Probably not. Hmm. Finally, they emerged from the mine, and across the bridge ahead of them lay the great castle they had seen from the gondola.
And so, side by side, but with a chasm between them, Ember and Rhyme came to the castle gate and opened it together. The skate oars are more... No, yeah, that's the gate. <laughs> There's special way for me to open this, or... Hmm? I can't go beyond here, but, uh, the gate... How do I open the gate? There you go! <laughs> the castle, majestic from a distance, had fallen into ruin. Its halls, empty. Of the ruler, there was no sign. It's almost like these two are the only living things left here in the entire place. Ash blackened the stones from a fire long ago. That color stone. Not sure what it means, but it's gotta mean something. Whoa. That does not look friendly. A great door. Inscribed on its surface, a golden sheaf of wheat. Perhaps this world would hold the secret they sought and remove the barrier between them. As the scarf was taken, the door became brighter. Whoever had once held these scarves, the doors had opened for them. Oh, that's a scarf that we just collected. Does that mean that we can now go through the door? Yes. Oh, that's such a sad loading bar. Did you see? The, the blue and the red, they go away from each other. Another world opened up before them, fields of promise stretching as far as the eye could see. But the fields lay untended, the farmers gone. I'm guessing the sparkling thing is a save point. You know, do we want to balance this? Could you get up, Rhyme? Mm. Maybe there's not too much of a point to this, for now. Go, Rhyme. Oh, there's another scarf here. There's a lot of scarves. Are they all only for Rhyme or... No, because we both have scarves. Right, and uh, Ember can't get past that, but can Rhyme? The little gust of geyser is not present when it's icy. Oh, but the moment you come here, it's okay. It's okay. Ah, we need Ember. No, 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 no. Yes, like this. Here we go. Does that make my scarf a little bit longer, or... Hmm. Alright. Uh, Rhyme can't get down, but you can probably get down if I make it watery. Right? Can I ever make it watery enough for you? No, because you- the area sort of immediately turns to ice as soon as he steps on it. Unlike the other place, where the geyser takes a little bit of time to come back. So maybe what we gotta do here is... Take the rope. Yeah, because we can just go over here. Ah! Beautiful. And then, you would probably want to get off the rope, wouldn't you? The faded black scarf seemed a hint of royalty. And if it was like the first, it might open doors ahead. Prince and a princess, huh? Oh, there's one down here. I wonder if they're optional or do we have to collect all of them? Oh, okay. Um, well, Ember can get up here, but you can't, um... You can't get rid of the geyser, but... What Rhyme can do is, you can walk over here, 
sulfur split the ground here. Fissures in the rock. Yup. And there you go. Oh, it shows at the top. The black stars show how many scarves were missing and how many we collected. Okay, so that sort of makes me think that this is not mandatory. Because if it shows how many you can collect. Alright. Hmm. You, okay, Rhyme, you gotta get back over there so that you can stop the little gust of wind. The fissures seem to be recent, angry, but Rhyme was able to calm it for a time. It's a fissure. Working together, Ember moved up and over as Rhyme froze the steam from the vents so she could pass. They worked well together. Almost a little bit suspiciously well, huh? Evidence of the world's past inhabitants was all around them. Mm-hmm. There's another one up there. Uh, how would we get up? Are, can you fall down into the well? Whoa. Oh my, okay. Maybe not that soon. You want to touch this first at least? Because I'm thinking, maybe you can... Can we stand on that? Maybe not. Oh, then how do we get that scarf? Because we can't seem to climb on anything in the surroundings. Rhyme? Rhyme... Not sure how to get that one scar for the time being. Oh? What does that, that light mean? There's a path that sort of goes around to the scar? Oh. Maybe you're trying to tell me how to do this, huh? Okay, you stand near here, and I'm gonna control Ember. Where does that light go? And on the, the little grave thingy, not grave, but the, the stone monument, you can see there's three arrows. One is lit up right now. Hmm. Maybe it shows where you need to get the scarves? Anyway though, I'm not sure how to climb up there, so I'm just gonna move on and go down into the well. Is that all you want? The sulfur vents ran hotter and fiercer beneath the surface. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Uh, we need Ember up. We need Ember up to get that scarf. Hmm. If we stop this vent, then Ember cannot climb up because she's not tall enough. But, uh... Um, I don't know, could you stand on the ice? You can't get ice, ever. No. These geysers make Ember go down. Then is there a way for me to, um... Like, I can't jump up high enough here, can I? Ever. Yeah. Oh, can I, like... Um... Use the barrier between us to get up here? <laughs> Maybe that's not a thing. Do you want to come block this? Don't come down, no! Wait. Or maybe we can jump on this side? No, it's difficult after all. Oh. So Rhyme can very easily get up by himself. Very easily. Oh, but you gotta get back up. Oh, you know what? If Rhyme is affected by the fissures, we don't actually need Ember to go up there, do we? All we gotta do is make it so that, um... Ember, walk over here, so that we can disable all of the, um, the winds. And Rhyme, stand on here, so that when Ember comes back... Oh! Uh... What? Yeah. Rhyme felt the heat carry him up. He felt elated, and for the first time in a long time, happy. Oh, okay. 
He's able to interact with the heat, the fissure from the the heat from the fissure. Oh, come here, Amber. And we need the water for this one. So if you would please, Ember. Uh, but we would need Rhyme back over there. Like so. Ember, for her part, was amazed at how Rhyme's presence quelled the vents so she could pass. And she was grateful. They need each other. Hmm. Yeah, again, this line here probably just tells us how to get to the other scarves. Yeah, okay. Yeah, as soon as we roll over it, we see the black stars and the white stars again. Mm -hmm. We missed one back at the, the one above the tree. Yeah, maybe I just gotta think a little bit harder on how to get that one, huh? The intricacy of the mining platforms was awe-inspiring. Someone had obsessed over their construction, every moving part. The box is going to be influenced by who is on the rope. Right, so... Hmm. Do we need both of you to be on here? Probably. There you go. Um, There's a little pool of water here. Makes me think that's probably gonna be useful later on. We gotta get up one more layer though. Which would mean that we would need the box to go down again. Which means we need Rhyme. Now Rhyme, again, the same problem with um, the little tunnel here. It's hard to... If I want Rhyme to get out, then I gotta get Ember to get out of the way first. Which is a little bit of a hassle here. Isn't it? Yeah, like, you see what I mean? Now Ember's down there, and we gotta, like, try to get her back up again, and... Just gets a little bit... I don't know, maybe there's an easier way, but I'm being really dumb right now. Oh, Ember. Oh, Ember. Could you go first, Ember? Oh, jeez! Ha! <laughs> no, that doesn't work like that. It doesn't. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we have to do- Yeah, I don't think this is really gonna work the way I want it to. Rhyme's gotta go first. Maybe that's why they made the tunnel like that. Hmm. No? But it's just like, how do we get to that scarf then? Ah, the little pool of water, maybe? Because that's got to be relevant for a reason, right? So, Ember's stuck here now. Oh, wow, that... <laughs> Way overthought that one, huh? And then you just, like... Yeah. Oh! Don't get caught. Rhyme. Rhyme. Mm, so we still need Ember to get up here. Can we get that happening? Oh! Whoa, I have no idea what I'm doing, man. I'm just like following this. Yeah, there you go. Oh! There you go. They made it a game, each seeing the machinery as traps left by some jealous king hoarding his scarves, but not knowing the truth of it. Oh lord, a game. Come on guys, you gotta find out the truth about what happened here. Don't got time for games. Okay, can I very simply just... Is it a height problem or like how... Hmm. I wonder, because I can't seem to get the height to reach that scarf. Yeah. The strange machines curled in and about themselves, in ways that reminded them of the castle's twisting hallways. The same architect, perhaps. We didn't get to see very much of the castle, because we went straight to this door. 
Yeah. Well, we can't go back that way because uh I guess if you want to if you want to come from this way, you would have to not drop into the well or whoa, how did Ember just get over there? I looked away for one second and Ember was just over there. <laughs> okay. Like that. Right, can you climb this rope here or do you wanna Oh but now we're going backwards a little bit, aren't we? Mechanisms meant to harness the wind now lay exposed to it. Yet Ember and Rhyme did not dwell upon it. This barrier was nothing compared to what separated them. Hmm. Are we going the right way at all? Because I feel like to progress. We should always be moving to the right side, right? But, uh, maybe not so. Oh, come on. We need Mr. Rhyme over here. Really? Are you serious? Um... Rhyme! Rhyme can't walk over! Really? Over the little hump? Uh Oh, we can make it move and stuff. How, wait, why is it moving? Oh, because of the water. Okay. So what we can do for rhyme is maybe Uh this is it's a little bit hard, isn't it? Rhyme? Maybe okay. Oh, hold on. Because this little space here is too small for anyone to walk through. So we can't do that. All we can do is change if it's water or ice down there. Okay. Oh, come on. Like this. Maybe we'll make it a nice height for Rhyme and then we'll just... Nah, that's probably a little bit too high for him to climb. Yeah, like that, and then we'll just have him climb over? No? A little bit more? Oh, Rhyme! Come on, man! A little bit more. Seriously? Come on, man. So you can get over here. There you go, and now you can get over here. Right. Oh. Did we fill in one of the missing scarves? Ah, now we're back here. Are we meant to be backtracking then? Because it seems like we're, we were getting new dialogue, even though we were going backwards. Oh, and look at that. Yeah, now the line goes... Three different ways. Because we came from those ways? Because we've been to those ways already? Maybe? How exactly would I get that scarf? How would I get that scarf? Uh, I'm not sure if this is like a Metroidvania. Do we maybe not have the knowledge to get it right now? Because we learn new skills later on? Because really, here, right now, I don't know what we can stand on. We certainly can't stand on this. And, um... Yeah, I'm just not too sure how to get onto the roof here. Well, you know what? Since we're back here anyway, this might be a good time to stop here for the first look. Not sure how this is gonna look later on. I do get the impression that this will play a lot better if you played with a friend though because I find myself wrangling between the controls to control both Rhyme and Ember. Maybe I just need a bit more time to get used to it. Hmm. Also feel like it's a little bit too early to say anything about the story. There's certainly a lot of hints of things going on like the scarves and the, the deceased royalty, these two being the only ones left, and the auras that don't change whether it's hot or cold. A uh, little too early to see where this is really gonna go though, but um, there you go. This is the first look of Degrees of Separation. Oh! Oh my god, I just realized this, but degrees as in like, like six degrees of separation, but also maybe as in temperature? Oh! <laughs> I just realized this. Oh my god. Well, there you go. This was Wellens with a first look of Degrees of Separation, and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it, and I will see you all later.
Bye.